Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today I'm getting ready to show you guys how we can make a delicious jerk chicken. Hey, hands down, now we can make jerk chicken at the house. You know what, you got a crock pot, you got an oven, you can even go outside and grill your chicken, put this on top, do a little marinade, and grill it. No matter what you do, if you never had jerk chicken, you gotta do yourself a favor and make this. I promise you, you, your boyfriend, your family, everybody just hands down, they're gonna say, hey, this is it right here. If you're looking for something that has like that refreshing taste, that's it. Now, for those of you guys that participated, you know, I put it in my community tab, I put this little, you know, questionnaire over there, you know, just like who can guess what this cook was gonna be. Listen, we had a few people, uh, you know, go ahead and try to guess, and then uh, we had like three people that guessed it. I put some things in there that like threw people off, like putting that tea in there, all that, that was just in there just to throw you off. And you know what I really thought would throw you off? Would be the crock, crock pot, because that's just not a traditional way of making it, but that's the way we gonna make it today. So, let me go ahead and just shout out to, you know, the winners. Okay, let's see here. Just for me, jerk chicken, that's right. Now this one right here, I don't wanna like beat it up or nothing like that. I think the name of the channel is called Shoban B, you got it correct. And then PR, I gotta say your name right there because you put in there Perry Perry Chicken. You know what, I was looking at that, I was like, hmm, thanks for the idea. And then Love to Life. And listen, I heard love you to death, but now we got somebody with a channel name called Love to Life. They got it. And I want to say you might have been the first one to even put that in there. Hey, so with that being said, you know what? Thank you guys for participating. You know what? We finna go ahead and get right into this video. Super easy. Jerk chicken. Let's go. Okay. We'll go over some of the ingredients. As you can see, as I show the ingredients, there'll be a pop-up. It'll show you the name and the quantity. And if you're new to my channel, you can always look down in the description box below this video and it'll be an ingredient list with quantities there just in case you want to copy, paste, and print. Right there you can see that I have brown sugar, thyme, ground cloves, nutmeg, and allspice. All of the dry ingredients in just one bowl. We got lemon and lime, and then right here we got that Jake's, that Jake's seasoning. This right here goes great with, uh, with on, you know, on chicken, and it's not overpowering, it's just like the perfect blend. And the rest of this is just showing, you know, some of the ingredients and the names. And of course, we got vegetable oil, vegetable oil, you know, right there. And this right here is my KitchenAid three-speed hand blender. This right here, without having this to, you know, like to puree, you know, the, the sauce that you're going to put on top of your, your uh, jerk chicken is almost impossible. Now, go ahead, take your chicken. Now, listen, I started out with in the pan. That's all just because I'm making a video. Honestly, listen, once you wash your chicken and all of that, you can just get it ready go ahead and you want to season now look you can see that I'm seasoning look at the color and notice the change you see that it got a little darker that's where the flavor is at along with the you know the juices from the fat and the skin and all of that that's right there is what just gives you know chicken just like that super now go ahead and just add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to your pan and then you want to bring it up to about a, a medium high heat and then you want to continue just to you know finish up seasoning your, uh, your chicken once you're done with that, then you want to put it in your pan once it's up to temperature and you want to put it skin side down as you see right there. The one thing we got to remember here is that we're just browning the chicken. We're going to cook it in the crock pot, but right here we're just browning it. So once you flip it over and you get the desired look, you can just like lift them up to see if it's brown to your liking underneath then you just go ahead and remove it from the fire and then you know what now it's time to go ahead and work with the rest of our ingredients here you know again i'm using my kitchen aid hand blender and right you know what i'm gonna say it this way so everybody can hey this is where it's gonna be just like super simple and i'm not gonna over talk it everything outside of the chicken must go in here listen we're trying to get a puree out of this so there's no way i can tell you you don't have to worry about hey what goes in first listen it all has to go in and then you'll notice that you can look right there. You can see that I left some of the onion behind. Only reason being is because you can see that, you know, I can only get so many ingredients in there. So in my mind, I was just like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and puree what I have. And then, I, you know, once it you know works its way down, then I'll go ahead and add some more.
Now you just want to add your chicken, you know, to your crock pot. Look, skin side up. And then you want to get your sauce and then you just pour it over the chicken and then you go ahead and just cook it. You can cook it for four hours on high or you can do eight hours on low. You pick your poison. Now I chose to do mine. I'm going to do mine on high and I set it for four hours. But here's the thing. I know my crock pot. I actually went ahead and took a look at it and, you know, checked it at about three and a half hours. Then I was done that right there. And you know what? That gave me the texture that I like right there. So, you know what? It helps knowing your crock pot. And after that, look, let a little bit of that grease drain. Go ahead and get you some rice. You know what? It would have been really nice if I'd have had some yellow rice. Hey, but you know what? You can't go wrong chicken over rice with all that goodness this right here is jerk chicken at its finest so what do you guys think about that there super easy to make huh you know what just about 15 to 20 minutes worth of prep time listen you in the crock pot the crock pot's gonna do all the work you just set your time whether you're gonna do four hours on high or eight hours on low either way you go ahead and just put it in there and you're talking about just like a refreshing, you know, like a tropical, you know, chicken. This right here is it right here. Listen, the whole family, including yourself, you're going to love it. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button and let everybody know there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.